The Lok Sabha is now likely to be curtailed by Wednesday. Opposition parties have asked for a discussion on the new education policy, on the issue of the coronavirus, the GST, as well as uh, the environmental impact. Now, the Lok Sabha session is likely to be curtailed by Wednesday owing to the COVID-19 pandemic. Labor laws, however, might be taken up on Tuesday. GST might be taken up during zero hour. And a decision uh, on the curtailment of the Lok Sabha has been taken after uh, two ministers and one BJP MP tested COVID positive. All parties, uh, we're told, are in support of the curtailment of the session by Wednesday. After 45 days, if the situation improves, there could be yet another short session of the Lok Sabha. So the big story that we're tracking for you is that the Lok Sabha is likely to be curtailed owing to the COVID-19 pandemic. This, little, this is a decision that has been taken after two ministers and one BJP MP have in fact tested positive for the coronavirus. Uh, remember, they were mandatory COVID-19 tests out of which 25 members of parliament from the Lok Sabha as well as the Raj Sabha tested positive before the parliament session began. Uh, those members of parliament, of course, were, uh, were asked to stay away from the session. What we're now given to understand is that uh, a decision has been taken after two ministers and one BJP MP tested COVID positive that there will be a curtailment of uh, this session. Sunil Prabhu joins us with the very latest on this story. Uh, Sunil, looks about likely to be curtailed. All parties are on board. What more can you tell us? Well, uh, there was a, a business advisory committee meeting uh, where uh, it was uh, uh, finally decided uh, that it would be left to the speaker to decide when to curtail the session. Uh, but sources are indicating that it will be closed on Wednesday. Having said that, everybody uh, said that there's an urgency to do stop this uh, session because uh, there are more and more ministers who are testing positive. Uh, and uh, now, of course, as you're well aware, uh, journalists like me, uh, members of parliament, everybody has to go through a test on a daily basis. And I think uh, somewhere down the line they have said, uh, and I'm quoting Mr. Kalyan Banerjee, who was a member of the Business Advisory Committee, who said that we understand that there's a constitutional urgency and crisis to hold this uh, session. That fulfillment has taken place now, and it's in that backdrop, uh, given the fact that, uh, you know, the prevailing situation is not good at all, uh, they would like and urge uh, that uh, parliament be curtailed as soon as possible. Having said that, uh, the government is very keen on passing the labor laws on Tuesday, uh, and uh, that is the reason why uh, it will uh, be taking up uh, those three uh, important uh, legislations uh, uh, in terms of labor uh, laws on, uh, uh, on Tuesday uh, before it goes to the Rajya Sabha. And uh, on Wednesday, uh, there will be short duration discussions on, uh, for example, the new, economic, uh, new education policy, uh, the environmental impact assessment, uh, the coronavirus, and of course, uh, in the zero hour discussion on the G goods and service tax uh, issue, the fact that there hasn't been compensation to states. Uh, so uh, this will be a short session. Another session is expected uh, to take place uh, in another 45 days if the situation improves. Uh, but uh, at present, uh, the mood uh, in parliament is to quickly adjourn the house as soon as possible uh, and given the present situation, uh, they are all keen uh, that this takes place as early as Wednesday.